It has been over a month since FixTFD began. The petition got over 300,000 people signing, which is a lot. Over time, less and less people were interested, but that didn't stop us from having big news. Starting with the biggest one, there was a big ban wave in Team Fortress 2. Many bot hosters and their bots had been banned. Not only that, the newly created TF2 bots have been also getting banned. In my experience, casual servers are definitely 10 times better. I realized how much I missed this. Not having to deal with bots and stuff. Right now, it is the perfect time to get back to TF2 and enjoy it. Valve finally started to take action. We are finally seeing cheaters getting punished. For many years, there have been cheat software that were completely ban free. Literally, no matter what you did, you wouldn't get banned. Same applies to bots, but now a lot of them got banned. This is really good news for the game and I hope Valve continues on with this. From what we can tell, there was definitely some sort of manual bans happening, but I also believe they had to go and see what kind of cheat software they were using, so probably the most popular cheat software out there might be getting detected by the VAG. That is just my speculation, either way, cheaters will find other ways to cheating, so I hope Valve keep on doing this, but I also think Valve might have done the ban wave so they can sell cases during the summer update. Which brings us on to our next topic. Boycotting TF2. I already made a video about this. In short, as a customer, you shouldn't spend money on a product that you simply don't enjoy. Even though TF2 currently might be bot free, this doesn't disregard the fact that Valve have been letting this happen for so many years. Valve still doesn't have my full trust, neither it should yours. I think people should boycott the game until we definitely decide that Valve is really actively working on the game. Banning cheaters and bots. A single ban wave is cool but since the game has been in a really bad state for almost 7 years, a single ban wave is not enough to convince me to trust Valve. That is why I hope they continue with this and if they do, yeah I'm gonna spend money on TF2. Wow, when you care about your customers, players, then those people are willing to spend money. Since I already mentioned, the summer update is really close. There will be multiple maps added, probably no custom game modes, 2 or 3 towns and cosmetic case. The last year's summer update was really great in my opinion. Hopefully this year's new maps will also be also good. Personally, I would love to see more custom vscript game modes. They can be like time limited maps after month after month. They just disappear instead of being added to the casual matchmaking permanently. I understand that a lot of people dislike vscript game modes because they can be buggy or not really related to the core game, like prop hunt. I think it's neat, but since it is not at all related to the core gameplay loop, it makes no sense to add prop hunt. Meanwhile, something like deathmatch vscript is, I think it's really cool. At least it keeps the first person shooter part or a gun game vscript. Again, I would rather Valve take its time with these custom game modes rather than immediately put it in the game. We already seen with Saxon Hale vscript that without proper testing first, these vscript game modes do, do not properly work on Valve servers, at least. Next on the list, we have the save.tf TF petitions. Petition is now closed. All of the people who signed the petition, their names are going to be printed onto papers and be delivered to Valve. While Valve definitely knows what is going on with TF2, doing this sort of physical form of protest by literally showing how many people want this game to be fixed, is a great, great way of protesting. But some people believe the petition is useless. How are names on a bunch of papers are gonna help? In my opinion, it is still a great way to show just how many people want this game to be fixed. Big numbers do look cool. And in the end, Valve is made out of people. I don't wanna believe that they will not notice that this many people signed the petition. Anyways, I hope you already signed the petition by now. I think it was enough time for it. Since safety after website was constantly being under attack by cheaters who would DDoS and try to take down the side, uh, it is better to end it at some point than uh, keep it going. Next we got the dumbest thing. P 
people are drawing rule 34 images of a bot hoster named Omegatronic, which you may have seen this robot profile picture. And yeah, some people thought this would be a great way to give these bot hosters a lesson. Yeah, if you fuck your game, we will fuck you. Like, seriously, what kind of shit is this? For so many years, we have talked about why people are ruining this game by hosting these cheater bots. They're doing it because they can, it gets attention, it is for tro trolling the people. People simply forget this fact and making bot hosters famous by drawing porn, which is probably hilarious for bot hosters. We are so fucking desperate that we believe drawing gay porn of someone's character is gonna make them mad or something. There are even people who made AI chatbot of Omegatronic. D d this is insane. Like. I understand that there are people who play with um, weird funny mods because horny. I still feel like this is not a great move, just shows how dumb people can get. We're just giving attention to these people. To be fair, by covering this topic in my video, I am also doing the same. Look man, I just, I, I just thought it was funny, but yeah, don't do this. Next topic is to do with Counter-Strike 2. CS2 players were expecting a new operation after 1000 days, but Valve only updated the game with 3 new maps only. CS2 is still missing a lot of things, the game is probably gonna get a new operation soon, but it is sad that... It is sad to see Valve simply not being able to maintain even one of their best games. In the terms of how much money it makes, if a game like CF Steel is not getting proper attention by Valve, we shouldn't expect much for TF2 to happen. CF Steel was also suffering from cheaters. Over time it got them better, but still, I feel like your players shouldn't have to play on third party's website like face it to properly enjoy competitive matches, Valve. I hope the TF2 ban wave is a sign that Valve is starting to take this stuff more seriously. Val again, Valve is definitely gonna release an operation soon. Let's hope the really long delay means the operation is gonna be a banger with a lot of new content to enjoy. Last video, I covered Master Config's website for community server cookplay. At the time, the site was in really early development and now it is so much better. It is funny how it got this good in two weeks. You can limit your ping, uh, server capacity, random crits, respawn times, RTD, you can ban servers and maps. Not only that, instead of immediately joining a server, you can list the servers that meets your preference as well. I highly recommend bookmarking this site. While bots are gone from casual, so a lot of people would prefer casual over community servers, Still, I think this is really cool. Well, good news are not ending. Team Fortress 2 has a comic series, but it never got finished. For many years, fans have been asking for the seventh comic. Some members of the TFT community wanted to finish the story themselves, and they emailed Jay Pinkerton, the writer for many things at Valve, including the comics. Surprisingly, he replies saying that they're already working on the new comic. They finished the script and it's being drawn. Not only that, Jay showed us some proof, the intro of the comic and the script. So yeah, we're so back. Lastly, I wanted to share something that I think is really cool. I realize a lot of people who subscribe to me are here because TF2 Source 2. After the comedy projects, TF2 Source 2 got taken down. Uh, we were really sad. Probably that, probably that will never come back. But at least we have something that cool as that. YouTuber LED, who has a really great channel, he mostly analyzes source games such as graphics and mapping. He ported a map, Junction, into Source 2 inside of Counter Strike 2. I will leave the link below for you to check. But here's how the map looks, and it's really gorgeous. Junction is one of those TF2 maps that are really boring, it's really cramped, but in Source 2 with those reflections, it, it really pops off. Even though TF2 has its own stylish graphics, so TF2 do doesn't really look old, with Source 2's more better reflections and other graphical settings, it looks better in my opinion. 
So yeah, that will be it for today. There are probably more news that I missed. For the last two weeks, I have been busy with my finals and just chilling. Hopefully from now on, I'll, I'll be able to make more videos and stream and uh, other stuff. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.